All right, John, opening night, what were your impressions here at Delta Downs? Glad to be back. You know, it's always good to be back here. Everyone really goes out of the way to, to get us started on the right foot, track man, you know, the, the right sector, everybody. It's good to be back, for sure. That's great. Now, we had uh, five trials last night, one stake. You won one race, and you qualified third fastest for the Old South Derby with the Carter Two. Tell me about the trip and how much you think you can improve. I think I can improve off of it. They had a horse false break, and it caused him to kind of check the rig, to sit back, and, you know, the, the, my saddle was out of adjustment. We were behind the gates, several things going on there. He, he, when he left, he, he kind of went down in the back end and kind of scrambled it with his front feet and lost some ground away from there. But he, you know, when I got into him left hand, he really took off. You know, he finished the race strong. I think that I think that I have more horse for the finals if I can, you know, if we can work out the kinks and the gates. Had you ridden him before? Yes, one time. Uh, I ridden him a couple of times, but uh, before I had my for my injury in November, I rode him in a in a maiden race or at a non-two. Man, he ran a great race. He left, he opened way up on those horses, had a lot of horse left, and then, of course, I was injured and wasn't able to ride him in the other trials. But, yeah, yeah I like him. He's that kind of horse. You know, he's that kind of horse. For sure, good people, too, the owners are good people. You think, to, uh, are you trying to, I mean, as far as the final goes, would you like him to draw any port of the gate, or does it matter? You know what? They, you know, uh, our track man, Pee Wee, I was just talking to him just now. He's He he has really overcome a lot of obstacles. Uh, we have a surface that's, that's as good as anywhere, and, it's, and he's making it as best as he can Even, from right? one to ten yeah. and that's huge mm -hmm. for us man because yeah. it's, it's aggravating and frustrating you work hard all year and then you get in the big race and then you draw a post position that you know you don't have a shot right. you know, that's maybe but peewee's you know he's you know board game has stepped up i hate to sound so pro boy but they really stepped up when it comes to that for the quarter people for sure well, that's good well good luck in the final and good luck tonight all right thank you man. thanks john huh? Okay, Damien, let's talk about the trials last night, the Old South Derby. You qualified ninth fastest. Tell me about the horse, Mystical Jeff. Uh, she's just coming back. She, I ran second with her at the Challenge Futurity last year at Rotama. She she got injured. She's resting. She's just coming back. I yeah, so, think she'll be good in the final, you know? Yeah, tell me about the trip you got last night to qualify. Uh, she broke decent. She kind of thought about it. I guess she thought she was still hurting from that injury, and then she just got confident on the racetrack and she did good. Came so second. She finished up strong, yeah. right? So all you gotta do is get her out of the gate good next yeah, time. And she always broke decent with me last year when I rode her, so I think she was good in the final we got a shot. So you think she can move up yep. a lot, huh? at least hit the board, maybe yes. do better, huh? She'll try to. Yeah. So how was your night overall, opening night? Tell me. Good, I mean made it out safe. Yeah, that's the main thing. Hit a couple on the board, but yeah. it'll come back better. Now you've got trials coming up tonight for the Old South Futurity. A lot of trials next week. How do you approach these trials? I mean, you got to get the fast time. You can't lay back, right? Yeah. I mean, you just got to look for the fast horses. Yeah, and you got to push them all the way through the finish yep. line, right? Especially the babies when they look at lights. Sometimes, sometimes they just jump over them or yeah. something. As a jockey, can you kind of tell? I mean, I know you're going fast, but can you tell like if you got a length or two length lead? I mean, can you tell how quick you're going, or you just go as fast? Yeah, as you know, you? but sometimes there's horses you can't even tell how fast they're going. Oh, really? I mean, I rode the war champion for it; didn't even feel like he was going fast. Oh, wow! But he would just open them, open about two, three links on them, yeah. real easy. Well, we got through opening night safe. You qualified one. I'd call that a success. Good luck the rest of the way. Thank you, Don. Thanks. Impressions of opening night: We got Luciano Duenez right here. How you doing? Doing good. Good, good. And yes, Luis sir. Vivanco, right? Yeah. All right. All right, Luciano, tell me, you win the first race of the season with a Kenny Weeks trainee. That horse was sharp. Tell me about Jess Run Corona. Oh, she was impressive. She she broke out the gates. She stumbled a little coming out. Two, three jumps, she was rolling. After that, I was, I was just ahead from there on. From the, set, from the word, I started getting after her. I was probably a length already in front, passing the wall. two, three lengths already. And, she won impressively. She was, well, what does it mean to win the first race of the season? It's, oh, it's a blessing. It's great. Starting off the year really good. And, you know, it's to me, I'm happy to to win for a bar for Kenny Weeks also. He's giving me the opportunity to race his good horses. He's a very good trainer. Oh, yes, he? sir. He's a real humble guy. Yeah. He's a real nice guy to me. He's treating me good. He had to be happy with the win, too. Oh, right? yes, sir. He was happy. Real happy. That's great. Yes, All right, sir. Luis, you had the fastest qualifier last night, draw from the Old South Derby Trials. Um, Luciani going to uh, yes, translate for us here. Uh, tell us about the trip. That horse was hard to load, but really ran well once the gate opened, right? Ayer tenías el tiempo más ligero del caballo del draw. Ayer tenías un poquito problemas de meter en la puerta, pero ya después de allí que lo tomaste en la puerta y todo, ¿cómo lo sientes de la carrera? Bien, arrancó muy recio.
se fue enfrente siempre, siempre enfrente, nunca. He broken nunca front, and stay he broke in front, and stayed in front all the way. And, yeah, ran a great he race. Ran huh? a great race. So. Okay. Now, how much do you think the horse can improve in the final? ¿Cuánto crees que puede mejorar el caballo en la final? Yo pienso que puede mejorar el caballo. Say he can improve a whole lot, a whole lot better in the final. Yeah, so you think he can run better, maybe be a little more seasoned? Que a lo mejor puede ya mejorar más, ya moderó un poquito más. Sí, yo pienso que sí. They say he matured a whole lot. All right. Now you guys are a couple of Texas boys, right? Oh, yes, sir. From near San Antonio? Yes, sir. So uh, how much are you going to ride here, Delta Downs, this year? Uh, well, I'm planning to stay here the whole year here in Louisiana. So. So let's make a little bit of money here is where the money's at here in Delta. Good purse is good oh, racetrack, yes, right? Yes, sir. Same thing for you, Luis? Yes, sir. He's to stay here also. All right. Well, you guys got off to a great start. Congratulations. Yes, good luck tonight and the rest of the season. Thank you, Donald. Appreciate Thank it. You. Okay, Antonio, you had a huge night tonight. Congratulations. Thank you, thank you. You qualify the fastest horse for the Old South Futurity Party Wagon. You broke from the inside. Tell me about the race and how it went. Uh, yeah, he broke from the inside. This horse, he's always had a little problem where I guess he stumbles and, and breaks in. So, you know, Joe had warning about him. And, and so I was Rolando, so I said, okay. So uh, we worked on a couple weeks ago and he actually broke straight and did good. But today I warmed him up a little bit left handed, make sure it was on his mind from the one and he broke. and. Did great. Yeah, he broke on his feet, left, and and did good. I didn't have to do anything good. <laughs> it was all well. It's all between Joe and the caretaker of the yeah. horse. I mean, they they're, they're the ones that. Could you tell you were really going fast when you hit the wire? Because I mean, did he accelerate mid race? Yes, mid race. I mean, I was kind of keeping after him, encouraging him to keep going. You know, I mean, we're racing against the clock. Yeah. Then about midway, he just kicked a whole another gear when I hit him right handed. So he had to uh, feel good even before the time came up, right? Yeah, it was just. It was sort of, yeah, thank God. Well, that's fantastic. Well, that was exciting. But then you come back two races later, and you win the Louisiana Purchase Stakes uh, with Light Em Up With Charm. Tell me about that horse in your history, because you have ridden him before, right? Yeah, I rode him as a, as a two-year-old uh, early on, and uh, he's always a horse that takes a little while to get going, and then on the end, he just finishes. It's kind of one you almost have to encourage early on, and then he'll finish at the end. Yeah. Today, he broke alongside with them. I said, you know what, I'm just going to sit here for a little bit, yeah. then I'll call on him late. Well, quarter horse racing, what's that, five like last... seconds? You sit there yeah, for just right. a few seconds. And then, uh, just midway, he just took off. I mean, it was just, it was surreal. You know? Yeah. Really didn't have to do what's much it feel like to have a night like this? You win a stake, your fastest qualifier. You haven't won the final yet, but still. No, it's it, it's nice. You know, yeah. it's really it's really good. Uh, starting, uh, you know, just, man, how can I put it? <laughs> With little words, it's just, it's just, it's a great feeling. Yeah, you know, just, just that's why you're a cranky, right? Yeah, I prayed you for told it me that you just, you had the feeling you had to come back and do this, right? Yeah, I did. You got the itch; it's in your blood. Yeah, it's unreal. That's fantastic. Well, congratulations. We'll see you in the finals, and uh, what a ride! What a night! Hey, thank you, Don. All right, have a good one.